So welcome back to the channel. I cannot wait to show you guys this floor plan. Some of you guys have been asking me to do more videos of these Overlander travel trailers and I found one. But I want to give a special shout out to Brian Howe. He is here at Brett's RV. Yep, Brett's and RV in Boise. In Boise, Idaho. Exactly. If you are in the market, especially for this mo uh, model, be sure to give him a look up, guys. All right? Thank you. Appreciate it. All righty, guys. Like I mentioned, this RV is really cool. Sorry about the um, road noise and everything, but we'll try to do the outside pretty quickly here. But just to start things off, you do have the Lippert uh, jack system and for your leveling, too. And these are going to be the quick drop stabilizers. And up front here, you guys can see you do have an adjustable coupler. And I like the hardware that they give you for this rig, too. And coiled breakaway switch. This is going to be some storage on the side here. And then this is how you would extend and retract that front jack, too. Now, on this side, you would have your propane. Looks to be two 20-pound propane tanks. And I like this... Um, this box here looks really nice and you probably can't see it from here but I'll show you guys what this little guy is right there once we get inside but look at the design on the side of it here it's really cool now one thing that's pretty unique about this small rig is you know how thick the doors are on this thing this thing has like really thick doors this is gonna be for your solar controller and a little bit of storage. I mean, this is kind of protruding out, but um, you'll see why when we get inside. This thing has a lot of good interior space here. And this has the Lippert solid step. And something that is pretty unique is this has Asdell sidewalls too. Large awning, a lot of windows too on this side. You do have a power plug right here and spray port now the suspension is through kurt and it's the independent suspension it has a shock absorber and it has actually has two shock absorbers and it has a coiled spring on this side and as you can see it is independent it's just a single axle so that's really cool look at that it's really nice and then this is like a wheel truck here but this is something else that's really unique. I'm seeing this a little bit more um, on RVs, but not this size typically. So let's go ahead and open it up. So as you guys can see, they give you a griddle on the outside. It looks like it's easy to clean too. And I like this better than the Capital Grills that they give you. The Capital Grills are they're not that great, but this is going to definitely be a, a great you know cooking function for outside and you have the big awning as I mentioned too on the outside too something I wish I had on my RV was an outside refrigerator they do provide that on this rig and then you have some power plugs inside of here and I like that they give you straps too and this just slides back in pretty easily and this pops back up and you can lock this too. You do have a quick disconnect for propane for that grill too, or anything else that you might need to use it for. And I'm starting to see these a little bit more often too. This is gonna to be for your um, personal ladder if you wanna bring it with you. And then you have a door here, and I'll show this to you on the inside. Looks like it has reverse lights and you have a accessory hitch out back too. And here's just a better look at those jacks out back too. Really nice hardware on this rig. This is where we're gonna dump at right here. And then this is a 30 amp power supply they're using a Schwintech for this slide out this is the only slide on this rig and I'm surprised they use a Schwintech this is a good slide system normally you see cable driven slides on rigs like this but they went a step above 
And then this is where you can dump your fresh water at right there. Low point drain. And this has a Truma water heater. And let's check out this side. This is gonna be for your wet bay. Have your power disconnect inside of here. Not a lot of storage, but enough. I love that they uh, provide this for you too. This has the inverter remote controller. And then this has that Nautilus water system too. They already give you the elbow inside of here. This is a really cool RV manufacturer. They do a lot of unique things. I mean, you and I didn't show this to you earlier, but you do have the blind spot that you could use for this rig too. One last thing I'll say about this area, I do like how they have the valves on the left side and your water on this side. That way things don't get jumbled up. So like I said, they really thought things through with this RV. And let's take a look at the numbers down here. So this has a gross fuel weight rating of 5,550 pounds. The gross axle on this one's gonna be 4,870 pounds. And right now the way it sits, it weighs about 4,674 pounds. That's not gonna probably be with batteries and propane, so just keep that in mind. So this has a all-in cargo carrying, so you can add to this RV 836 pounds of water, uh, your gear, anything like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. All right, so this does have the screenshot too, and what it does, it normally it will close the screen for you. So I like that they give that to you from the factory. And when you walk up, you have that solid step, it's pretty wide, and you'll see you have some power here on the side power and USB so this is basically gonna have a Murphy bed which is very useful for something like this because you have your couch just below and as I showed you guys on the outside you probably couldn't see it this did have a window that opens up so on those cool nights you can open this up and get a breeze coming through I love that they did that and this is actually dual pane so yeah, it's, this is just a cool little rig. Definitely one you have to try out too. And you do have this screen too if you want a little bit of sunlight on those cooler days. And you do have that storage above there. Television, it's a Furion television. A little bit of storage on the side here. Power plug right there. I would show you guys the Murphy bed up, but unfortunately, I can't because for some reason it won't latch. But as you guys can see, the mattress just folds up. This pops up here and then you will see that you have a, a large couch below. But like I said, I, I wish I could show it to you, but unfortunately I can't. That window does open up. And let's just take a look at your kitchen now. So you do have a two burner cooktop through Greystone. And these are decent size burners too. Small sink, but this is something that you would see in some of the Airstream, so this is basically the size you're gonna see for this type of rig. They do provide a window, which I do like to have, although it is kind of low, so you can't really see out of it, but it does provide natural light coming through. Storage to the left of your small microwave. It's not gonna be a convection or anything like that. But this is typical what you see inside of a RV this size. And then this is your lights and your fan. There was a vent for the outside. Below the sink, decent storage. And these drawers are all pretty much the same size. This one might be just a little bit bigger than the bottom ones. But you have three more this size. And compressor style, G N E refrigerator which you don't ever see I don't think I've ever seen a General Electric refrigerator compressor style which is most likely gonna be 12 volt and I mean this is this is pretty big actually I like that they give you soda can holders on the side here you can put six cans and where you're planning on eating at is pretty large uh, I mean this is a bunkhouse as you guys saw and it has, you know, a decent sized setup here. I mean, you have, you know, this could seat four people easily. And I like that they don't have a leg in the center here. 
this does give you some storage below the seating and I don't know if I mentioned but this does have herringbone too my wife if she was here she would have pointed that out probably as soon as she walked inside of here and this slide out is you know just for the dining now you do have some storage above it it's all pretty much open side to side and they do provide lights there and it looks like you can turn some of them on and keep some of them off and i think i think this is a dimmer for the light i'm not i'm not 100 sure but it has a dial on the side that goes up and down which means that's probably most likely what it is the medic ac and it looks like this has a heat pump on it too which you don't normally see on rigs like this pretty cool if you want to bring your bikes your snowboards or anything long you do have that door out back that you guys saw this side of this bunk goes up that give you more height and more um, room to get things in you have these curtains here that slide and these are decent size uh, bunks too I, I would say that you can probably sleep two kids up here if you like and then two more down here And it wouldn't surprise me too if this turns into a bed as well. But look how big this bathroom is. Brian did mention that when he was here. He said, man, the bathroom in this thing is huge. He's not lying. Uh, typical size shower, but it's pretty large though. I would say that, you know, this is, this is about what you're gonna see and even sometimes fifth wheels. Yeah, this is really cool. Looks like you can adjust your water pressure right there, and then you can you know turn the water off if you like. Pretty cool. Nice size skylight. They do give you what looks to be a fantastic fan with a three level speed. Not a fan of this. This is, you know, this is over the counter. It's plastic. Um, this is, I think they should have did it a little bit better. I mean, this RV is really nice. They did a good job. I think this this is where they lacked a little bit. Do you have some controls for the lights inside of here? Decent storage behind the vanity. And although there's not a lot of countertop space, you have power and then you still have this. And then storage inside of here too. And that's pretty much it. This is a porcelain toilet. And they provide a lock on the door, which you don't normally see on RVs. But yeah, I mean, this is a really nice rig. I definitely think if you are looking for an Overland, you gotta put this on your list. Absolutely amazing RV. And it's definitely one I would put on my list if I was in the market for one. 